Okay, uh, we're going to tie the tie my DH hopper this morning. Um, this is going to be a tan and yellow version. So I'm going to get my thread started. I'm going to run it all the way back to the point opposite the barb. Uh, our, our first overbody on this is a 2 mil tan foam. I went ahead and cut it with a uh, Chernobyl Ant tapered cutter. Uh, just find it a easy. You don't have to. You can use a scissors, cut it square, and just taper the ends. What I'm going to do is tie it in. I'm going to take it and extend it about a quarter of the body length past the end of the hook. Uh, now when you're tying this in, you got to be somewhat careful because you can cut the foam. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll slowly tighten it down. Okay, next we're going to tie our underbody in, which is a yellow one mil foam. Um, as you can see, I'm going to grab this uh, foam strip, get it out of my way. I'm going to bind, tie in the one mil strip. I'm going to try to keep it right on the side of the hook here, on my side. And then we're going to take and run it back, the thread back up to the three quarter point. Now, when you fir your first wrap with this one mil foam, you got to be very careful with because it will break. So once you get the first one on you can uh, really then kind of tighten it up a little bit. And I'm just going to wrap this forward, uh, creating a, a nicely tapered and segmented body. And you can kind of see it building up there. And I'll try to get one. Well, I will not. And I'm going to grab it right there and just grab the, just grab this one part and then it'll form the front of the body. Okay, now I'm going to take it and bind the ends down. I'm going to turn this and show you. You can really see the segmented body on this side, top. And I'm going to leave the thread right at the tie-off point here. I'm going to take a grab, a drop of super glue. Just put it right on top. And that's just going to help hold everything together. Come up over. There we go. And then I'm going to bind that down. And then I'm going to run my thread right up to the right behind the eye. I'm going to then grab the foam and bind that down. And then I'm just going to compress all this foam in between. Okay. Okay. Don't cut off your end yet. We're not going to cut that off. So we got that, the top, the bottom. Now we're going to grab our underwing, which is a few strands of uh, rainbow crystal flash. I'm going to take them, tie them in right about the middle of it, bind it back, and fold it back over. So take a half as much as you want, because you're going to be doubling it back. Okay, so we have our underwing. Now I'm going to grab a nicely stacked clump of uh, elk hair. I'm going to measure my wing. Okay, about right like that. I'm going to switch hands. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the butts ahead of time. And this, and a, this helps with the tie-in immensely. That. You got to be real careful with this uh, six aught thread because it will. And then I'm going to take the end. And the reason I pre cut it, as, as you can see, is I didn't have to uh, uh, do any of the. Uh, I didn't have to uh, cut any of those ends and have any issues. And then I'm going to take a drop of head cement put it right in on the butts. Now the dubbing on this is a uh, UV uh, yellow. I'm going to grab a, a little section, a little bit of it, and run my thread up to the front here. After the dubbing is completed, I want the, the thread right in front of that wing. So I might do 
couple trips on this thorax. So we're going to come up. Yeah, I'm going to need a little more dubbing. little section of dubbing, but I'm going to run down here and then I'm going to just bring it forward. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our rubber legs, and on this one I'm using the new Montana Centipedes. Uh, they're a yellow barred uh, red and black. Really like these legs. So we got one side. and then we'll get the other side and there we go so we got, we got both sets of legs now now I'm just going to do just one more little clump of dubbing in here on the, right in the right in the V of the uh, the legs. That's just going to help cover some of the thread up. Okay. I've got an elk hair here just to clip that out of it. So now I'm going to take the front, I'm going to fold it back over, and then I'm going to take one, two loose wraps. Make sure everything's where I want it and just pull down, pull it tight. Final adjustment here. Tighten that up a little bit. And we're going to grab our whip finish. Okay. I'm going to whip finish right through there about three times. Make sure not to trap any of the legs. Tighten. Now I'm going to come in and clip a short, get my legs cut to length. One thing nice about these barred legs, you can really adjust your lengths and get them nice and even on your legs. Okay. Then I'm going to turn the fly upside down. And then I want to put a drop of head cement on my thread wraps right there. And then the last piece, what we're going to do is I'm going to take and put a drop of super glue right here on the very back where we originally tied in that foam. That's kind of the weak point of this fly. So there we go, side, the bottom. And the top. I um, hope you enjoy this.